Hey everybody, welcome back to another Circuit Basics tutorial. My name is Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to access the Raspberry Pi with a remote desktop connection. In the last couple of videos I did, I showed you how to access the Raspberry Pi command prompt. Um, one with a Ethernet cable connected to your wireless router, and another with a Wi-Fi dongle or wireless adapter. And that was all good, but it only allowed us to access the command prompt. Raspbian has a pretty nice graphical user interface that a lot of people um, want to use, and also other um, operating systems like RasBMC or XBMC. You're going to want to use the graphical user interface rather than the command prompt. But in order to do that, we are going to need to install a remote desktop protocol server. So start by going into PuTTY, log in with your Ethernet IP or your wireless IP, and install XRDP. Enter sudo apt-get install xrdp, press enter, and then yes to continue. Wait for it to download and install, and then reboot. Now it's pretty easy to access the GUI. Uh, if you're using Windows, all you have to do is um, search the computer for remote desktop and you'll find the remote desktop connection application. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to enter your local wireless or ethernet IP and connect. And you're going to be prompted to enter a username and password. It's the same as uh, the password and username for the command prompt, Pi and Raspberry. And here we are. This is the Raspbian desktop. Looks pretty cool. It's got a drop down menu up here with all the programming applications. It's got a web browser, a couple games. Uh, some accessories, we got a calculator, the help files, and some settings. Now this is all good. Um, we're connected over our home network. You can see up here it says 10.0.0.106. That's my local IP address. What if I'm not at home though, and I want to access the Raspberry Pi? What if I'm in... Uh, Paris, France, and I want to access my Raspberry Pi. Well, for that, we're going to need to do something special. We're going to need to do what's called port forwarding. And I'll show you how right now. First thing you want to do is open up your command prompt in Windows and enter ipconfig. This is going to tell us our default gateway IP. In my case it's 10.0.0.1. This is the IP of the router and we're going to use this to access the configuration settings of our wireless router. So write down your default gateway. We're going to need it in a second. Now to access your wireless router's configuration settings you're going to need to open up a web browser And then just enter that default gateway into the search bar, 10.0.0.1. Press enter, and you're at the login prompt for the wireless router. 
If you've never been here before and you don't know what the password and username are, try to enter admin as the username and then just password as the password. That's what got me in here. All right, now we're in our wireless routers configuration settings. There's quite a bit you can do here, but for now we're just going to find the port forwarding settings. So in my case, it's under advanced and port forwarding. Make sure the port forwarding is enabled, first of all. And then find something that says add new, or in my case, it's add service. So I'm going to click on that. And we've got some options here. So I'm just going to fill out each field one by one. Your services name, just other. Service name, you can name this anything you want. Name it Raspberry Pi connection. And the service type, you want to leave it at TCP slash UDP. Now the server IPv4 address, this is your local IP that you're using to connect. If you're using Wi-Fi, then you want to use your Wi-Fi IP. If you're using Ethernet, then you want to use your Ethernet IP. I'm going to be connecting over Wi-Fi, so I'm using my Wi-Fi IP. And the start port is going to be 3389. This is specific for your remote connection, so keep it at 3389. And same as the end port, keep that at 3389. Alright, so now we have our port forwarded. And just one last thing we need to do, and that's find our public IP address. And there's lots of ways you can do this. I just prefer to Google search what's my IP. And it comes up here. 50.122.122.22. Make note of that. We'll need it in a second. Now we need to go to our remote desktop connection. Now, instead of entering our local IP address, we're going to enter our public IP address. So I'm going to put 50.122.122.22. Now, enter a colon and enter the port that you forwarded it to. So 3389. We forwarded the port to port 3389. And we're connected. So log in. And we're in. This will work anywhere in the world that you have an internet connection. Just enter that public IP and the port that you forwarded to, and you'll be connected. And there's also another way we can do this too. If you have a iPad or iPhone, there's an application called Remote Desktop Server, and um, I cover that in my blog post. I'm leaving the link in the description section so you can check that out if you want to use it over your iPhone or iPad, and um, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. All right, I'll talk to you later.